So, um, open up the sign tutorial uh, project that we finished off with in the last series of tutorials. Um, and we're going to want to make ourselves a playing field. It's not going to be anything spectacular, just something that we can get started with. So delete the signs out that we created. And then let's make this playing field about 8,000 by 8,000. Something nice and big, but not uh, monstrous. And then just Alt and pull up on Z to pull out a duplicate of that and then we're just going to set the Y to 10 and the Z to about 350. Actually let's leave that at a power. Let's do 400. So we'll make it 4 meters high. And then as usual press N to bring it right down and I have um, snapping objects to a scale grid off because I find that it helps me um, get a little more accurate movements so hold down shift and pull it right to the end of our play area bam see how see how well I did there uh, just a little bit off and then if you want you can uh, make it a little tighter doesn't really matter that looks good enough and then alt click this one this brush that we made and pull it and you can hit shift as well to uh, allow the camera to follow and just bring that right to the edge of the other side like maybe there it's probably a little bit off but again it doesn't really matter if you are OCD about this stuff um, go ahead and give it a shot I'm not going to be too OCD about it just for the sake of this tutorial um, pull that out again to do the other walls and you're going to press E to uh, bring up the rotation tool <laughs> the rotation tool and just rotate that 90 degrees press W to get the move tool back out and then pull him back this guy you're going to have to pull a little bit in this direction so that he lines up nicely and then just uh, I'm going to change my camera speed here to maybe five. Yeah, there we go. So we can move around a little faster here. See, so we just need to pull him a little bit out. Oops. And if my mouse wasn't so sensitive, there we go. Bam. And then we'll pull him out. And all we need to do with this guy is just pull him back. And pull in a little bit more. Bam. And then we have a nice solid area that we can now play in. So now if we play in this area, we can run around. And then we can't actually jump off. Bam. Uh, so just for the sake of... Um, making it look a little more like a level I guess. We'll take a material, uh, you can choose whatever material you want and I'll just do concrete poured, no let's do uh, ground gravel, we'll just drop that right on there. So now we have a ground, we have some walls, uh, we have our beautiful lighting here. Um, let's go ahead and build our lighting so that the new walls that we made can be properly affected by light. And there we go. Now we actually can see our walls affected by shadow and we can see everything else. So that should be just about enough for creating the level. Um, and now we can actually start on implementing um, some extra movement features and we'll get into creating some blueprints that we can then spawn and destroy. Uh, so come back in uh, the next part of the tutorial and we'll get started right away.